In this video, we're going to show you our Smoky Lake Dauntless and our first boil and the tips and tricks that we found. Join us! Sweet Maple Ridge Falls. It's cool now, everybody. Go! So what we've done here is let the Dauntless pan soak in a mixture of water and vinegar, white vinegar. And we just let that soak for a little bit and then we scrubbed it out. And you can see this is what we're doing here, also with the feed pan. So just get yourself a little bit of vinegar and do that. And uh, that will help get it clean. Now, we purchased this temperature gauge from Smoky Lake, and we highly recommend it. It's amazing. And it helps you monitor the stack temperature, which is pretty cool. Now, here you can see we are boiling, and everything's going well. And we bring the sap in using uh, some PVC pipe. Uh, it's pumped in from a SureFlow pump. It, uh, we have our sap out back in a IBC tote. It works really well. So here's our uh, tote. And this has been running for, uh, we set this all up on Sunday and drilled and tapped. And here it is, Thursday morning. It hasn't been the best conditions. It, it wasn't below freezing the night before. It was maybe 36 yesterday. So it hasn't been prime conditions. But for 91 taps all going into this tote, you know, I think we probably have... I know this isn't level, but I think if you were to level this out, we'd probably have close to 125 gallons. And it is dripping a little bit, but I think that's just residual in the lines. So we're going to pump this out today and take it up to the sugar shack and we're going to go from there. We're just going to boil and not RO anything uh, tonight. So that's going to be fun. Like I said, we have some of our trees we just put on uh, buckets because I just, from the way that this is and the way that the landscape is, this is pretty steep. And I couldn't get it hooked to that main line. I mean, I probably could if I really tried and brought out a ladder and all that. But I just wasn't getting into all that. So we got 12 trees um, on this on this line. And it's fine. It just goes into this. This was overflowing last evening. But so we're going to take this and dump it into there. Now we're going to take the sap we just pumped and pump it into the IBC toad out back. So we're going to go ahead and pump it into this toad here. It's on the other side of that wall from our Dauntless. And here's the pipe that is hooked to our SureFlow that pumps directly into our Dauntless. So we're going to pump this and this method works great, but make sure you use a clip to hold that hose. Otherwise it's going to go flying. Sap's going to go everywhere. All right, we're also gonna check the sugar content of this. This came from a different sugar bush.
right, let's go inside and see what we got. All right, so this is all cleaned up, ready to go. It's just, uh, we're gonna put it in there, never drop it in there. I think it's one and a half, a little over one and a half, one and three quarters, maybe. Not too bad. So this is what we got after a couple trips back and forth and looks like we're looking good, getting ready to boil. Okay, so we're pumping the sap from our tank out there into our warming uh, tray, which is then going into our pan. And the way that this works is we have a pipe out there in our IBC tote. It comes in through here, goes to a SureFlow 4008, which everybody's familiar with. power by a battery there's probably a, a better way to do that but that's it's working for now comes over here I don't think it's the best thing ever the best insulation ever but it worked pretty good it's working for what we need to do so here we go so we're gonna get this filled up uh, like two and a half inches and so we're gonna start a fire in there Just cleaned out the firebox so it's ready to go. And we have water about to boil on here so that we can calibrate our thermometers. And this is what we're going to draw the syrup off into. It's a little sugar shack tour. Got electric ran to it. We have water. A little storage up here. And we made a table. So. And then we have the vacuum system, our filtering system, which we got from CDL not too long ago. And that thing's soaking in like a vinegar solution right now. And that's what we found the best thing to clean uh, this stainless steel with. So. And this is what we're going to use to warm the syrup as it's going through that filter. And also our dinner of goulash, which is going to be outstanding. We'll come back here in just a little bit once we're rolling. This thing is great. We got this from Smoky Lake Maple. By the way, they are they are really great to deal with. We highly recommend buying uh, anything from them. So. All right, we got the cupola open, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. And then look at this. We got some goulash on the stove. We're ready to we're ready to go. Just a side note, stick with us till the end and we're going to talk about the tips and tricks we learned with the Dauntless and there is a couple uh, that we wanted to share with you that are 
I think really important. Some of this sap I'll say we use our nano to RO it and that thing works really well for the amount of trees that we have tapped. Uh, it, it brings the sugar content from one and a half to two bricks all the way up to five or six and we think it works really well. We recommend it. Here's the concentrate at four and a half and here's the permeate at zero so that nano is working. All right, this is our second day of boiling. Here we go. All right, so here we are. We got the uh, we got the Dauntless going. Uh, let's see here. There we go, and we got this going. That thing needs a little work, but that's all right. We're gonna get some coffee going first and foremost. Let's go grab some permeate. All right, here's our permeate tote. I just filled this up. The most delicious water you'll ever drink. Let's go get this to Mrs. Sweet Maple Ridge. We'll get some coffee going. And some oatmeal. Alright. Alright, we got coffee going. Honestly, that's one of the most important things you can have on a morning like this. All right, we put a lid on them, put them on the side, and then that's it. Done. On to the next one. All right, some tips and tricks we wanted to share with you. Number one, you need really dry firewood uh, to get the Dauntless to burn hot. Uh, the stack temperature is, uh, should be right around 1,000 to 1,100, but that's our case. Yours might vary a little bit, but definitely dry firewood is number one. Number two, in the Smoky Lake Dauntless for the divided pan that we got, in order to draw off syrup, we find that you need around 150 to 160 gallons of good quality fresh raw sap in order to uh, be able to draw off any syrup at all. Uh, so think about how long that's going to take to boil down. If you have an RO, definitely RO it, but... You need about 160 gallons in order to draw off syrup. So just keep that in mind. If the Smoky Lake Dauntless is something that you want to get, you need to be able to have the ability to get that much sap. And that's a lot of sap for you know a backyard producer. So just keep that in mind. 150 to 160 gallons in our experience. All right, next I wanted to touch on cleaning real quick. Uh, a solution of vinegar and water works great to get rid of the nitre. So if you've been boiling for a couple days, three or four or five, uh, you're going to have nitre and stuff that uh, accumulates in the bottom and it's, it's going to get stuck to that stainless steel. So the way that we found, the best way that we found to clean is to uh, soak the pan in white vinegar and water overnight, uh, let it sit all overnight and then uh, what you want to do is light a fire under it the next day let it boil let it cool and then you can scrub it out and all that stuff will come out it's super easy and then just rinse it out with a hose it works great all right we wanted to talk about the shutdown procedure with this or when you stop boiling for the night what you want to do is it basically what we found is it's going to take about an hour to to shut down or for things to really slow down uh, so you want to make sure that you have enough sap on hand. Um, uh, you want to make sure that your, your pan is uh, above the two inch mark because uh, once you start to sort of uh, let the fire go out, it's still going to keep boiling. Those fire bricks in there hold a lot of heat and so you're still going to use sap. So make sure that you have enough on hand um, in order to uh, accommodate for that. Now, a quick word about the Nano. We think that thing works great. Um, it does help to, to really concentrate the sap. So get this thing. Um, we have 110 taps now. So uh, this one does work pretty well for, uh, for what we're working with here. All right, then uh, just a short um, note about our CDL vacuum filter. We're going to put out a whole review on this. 
um, in a couple days. So be on the lookout for that. And we will let you know our opinion of this. And whether we absolutely like it or whether we absolutely hate it. So stick with us, like, subscribe, and share. Let us know in the comments what you think uh, about everything we've mentioned here. And stay tuned for more where we bring you all things maple syrup from our uh, backyard to yours. See you out on the ridge.